Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Saturday, June 21st, um, 2014. This is Proof Weight Loss Ready Works. I'm Gary, the Bypass Man, your Saturday vlogger. This week's topic, um, what mental shift occurs for you between living at the top of your goal weight range and bottom? How are you living today differently and day out to be opposite ends of your range spectrum? Are the mental, physical, daily action plans that much different? How? Why? Basically, share a bit of what you notice about yourself when your weight fluctuates. Alright, this this week's topic is a little, a little weird. Um, what mental shift occurs? I mean, it, it, mentally, I don't know. I mean, it's all different now compared to before. I mean, uh, your your mental your mental aspect of how you eat is changed because now you're eating differently. Um, if you're following the, the rules, you are definitely eating differently now. You're watching what you eat. You're making sure you eat protein and stuff like that. Um, you know, how are you living differently today than before? I mean, it's totally different. You know, now I, I make sure that I have my proteins and I make sure that I try to plan ahead as much as possible and um, make sure I have the, the right foods available for me while I'm in my, in my home. Um, if you have junk in your home, you're most likely you're going to eat junk. So, you know, as simple as that, I mean get the junk out of your house, I mean, if you can, I mean, I have, t I have two children, and the crap food in my house is, is abundant, and I do whatever I can to stay away from it, um, what else, uh, how do you deal with your, I guess, how am I dealing with my weight, high range and low range, I mean, I am up in my weight, um, how am I dealing with it? Basically, I haven't. Um, I'm going to be truthfully honest with you. I have gained some weight. It's not a significant amount. It's enough to be almost significant. Um, how am I dealing with it? I haven't dealt with it. So, this is something that I need to do. And it's very hard to get refocused when you're, you get complacent in your ways. So what I need to do is really just, you know, you know, shock myself and, and, you know, get, get back into exercising or get into exercising. Cause I've never really been into exercising, but I'm definitely going to, uh, start working on treadmill and uh and as far as my food intake I mean the food intake is not bad um I'm a big beer drinker and I you know I'm not hiding from that and the beers that I drink are very high in calories so that is probably you know a portion of what is causing me to uh, very slowly gain some weight. Um, it's not, you know, the, the weight gain that I've had is not something that just happened overnight. The past four years, it's been a very slow, gradual weight gain. And it definitely contributes to what, what I've been doing. And I tell everyone, and I'll tell you again, if you keep on doing the same thing you're doing, you're going to get the same results. So you have to sit back and analyze what you're doing and refocus, recalibrate, and move forward. So that's what I will do. And uh, because I plan on getting this little bit of regain off and get rid of it and get more focused. 
you know, weight loss surgery is not the easy way out. It, you know, people say that, and once you get weight loss surgery, you know that it's not the easy way out. So, you have to always stay concentrated and focused and uh, keep on moving forward. If you make a little slip up, whatever. And we all do that. So, just stay focused and keep on moving. Well, I hope I hope that I help someone with this video. And uh, I'm sorry it's late, but anyway, it's late at night, and I'm all tired. And I'm um, sorry, but anyway, and my face is shiny. Why is my face so shiny? I don't know. Anyway, have a good night, day, whatever, and uh, I will see you next week for next week's topic. Stay tuned tomorrow for Rosemary. Take care. Good night.